make this short and sweet. So this is my 2023 gun collection. Some of them I've had for a while, like one or two. It's like, no, no, three. Three of them I've had for a while, but most of these are newly maintained, uh, newly attained firearms. And I'm just going to jump straight into it because I don't have a lot of time. So, yeah, um, I'm not new to the firearm world. But it's no particular order, but I'll let you know which ones I've had for the longest. So, the, the ones that are closest to me. First one, and all of these are cleared, so and I will clear them again on camera. First one is a CZ P10F full size. I had the compact size, didn't like it. Got it up out of here. Um, sometimes you get. Sometimes you get guns that you like. Sometimes you don't. Uh, this just happened to be one of them. Now, I'm not going to point anything at the camera, which I know is safe to do, but it just feels like I'm pointing it at somebody else. Um, I like this one right here. It's got some very aggressive uh, texturing on it, and it does see well in the hand. I don't have any. I think I got footage, but I'm not going to upload any footage. Um, these are guns that work for me, or firearms that work for me. Uh, CZ P10F. I like full-size guns. I like a lot of full-size guns. Pretty much all of them are full-size. Um, but this one has got a very nice trigger on it. Um, I'll do the reset on it so you can see it. Look at that. It breaks. Nice break on it. Um, a lot of Glock compatibility as far as holsters. Uh, it, it, it does well. I like the Picatinny on it and all that stuff like that. The, this one does good. It, it locks in the hand very well. Like you can hold it and you can see it, it locks in. You get a good high grip, low bore of access. Um, I think I, I, dude, I bought this one right before the pandemic was going on, and I paid right at like five hundred for I believe. It is one of the nice um, carry options you can get as far as like a low, a mid end budget pistol. Uh, this one. Is my competition gun. Y'all know it. It's a CZ75 variant, TS2 blue handle. It's the base model. Um, I didn't want all the other bells and whistles. This does just what I need it for. One of the best triggers you can find out there. Um, here's the reset on it. Nice. And then the brake, minimal. Uh, it's like a one and a half pound trigger. This is by far one of the most top guns that you're going to get around for this price like you always say you got to go to atlas gun works affinity infinity um 2011s to get performance like this and you can get this for 15 1600 depending on where you get it from i've seen it as little as 1400 depending if you want to get it offline so you got to shop around for them but this is pretty much one of my higher end guns Uh, this is a play toy. Well, it's not a toy. It's just one of my range toys, which is very reliable. I've been painting on it. I haven't had time to get that off. I was color coating everything, but yeah, it's got adjustable rear sights, and this is a very accurate uh, pistol. Um, Taurus knocked it out of the ballpark with this. Um, you can dry fire this one as well. It's got the safety on it, but you can just see this reset. Uh, look at that. that reset is better than a lot of glocks it, this gun right here i think i got maybe five thousand six thousand rounds on it and it's still hitting in the same spot uh one of the better guns that you can come across as far as 22s like i haven't tried the uh the seeds and all the other stuff out yet but that one is very reliable and Oh, running a meal, running a meal. Gen 23. You can see this one has been shot a lot. You can see the uh, the powder burns on it. Um, it was in an MCK Rony chassis, brace chassis, but y'all know the fiasco going on with the braces and stuff. So, but a Glock is a Glock. They're reliable enough um, where you can depend on them. 
There's it. It's a Glock trick. I mean, it is what it is, but out of the box, this is one of your more reliable guns. Second one in. This is my concealed carry. Oh, I'm forgetting another gun too. I'll get that later. But yeah, uh, bam. Yeah, G19 Gen 5, 507C Hollow Sun on it. This is a GSG 1911. It's almost full size. I want to say it's like 80, 90%. It's very smooth. This is by far one of the most accurate 22s I've ever shot. Like I shoot three inch plates at 30 yards with this thing right here. It does have a trigger disconnect, well, a magazine disconnect CP on it, so it won't fire even that. And that not, it will not fire without that magazine in it, which I think is stupid, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, this is right here is a um, a piece that <clears throat> a lot of people want to get. You, you can tell this is, it's a big boy because of that, how hard it was to rack back. But yeah, and this is not the 44. That is the 50 AE. So this is a uh, an expensive gun, even more expensive gun to shoot. So the, 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 if you get a thousand rounds of ammo for this, it's gonna cost way more than the gun. It's just a fact. I, I, I paid 1600 for this one. And uh, during the height of the pandemic, I think it was like four and a half dollars a round. So add that up for a thousand rounds. There you go. And this is newly obtained. X5 Legion. Um, I just came from the range today and I put like 250 rounds through it. Um, let's see this trigger on it. When you dry fire, it doesn't really feel like a striker trigger to it. Like, it. It feels like a striker trigger, but it doesn't feel like a striker trigger. It doesn't have that crisp, clean that you hear. It's like a mushy click, but it is a it's a very good defined mushy trigger if you want to call it that. If, if whoever shot this before, you know, this is a very accurate gun. Um, but it's got the um, optics cut on and everything, but it, it is nice. So you got the I'm not gonna do the flash the light in the camera, all kind of stupid stuff like that. But yeah, this is one one of the more reliable uh, seeds. And we're back. Um, I had to step out and grab my other concealed carry, which is the last one. Um, CZP01 Omega. Um, I've had this for a couple of years. I got it right at right before the height of the pandemic, and I still grabbed it for 600. So you know how hard it is to find a, a CZ Omega. Um, it's got a weird trigger on it, but it is a good one. So it breaks, but then it goes back. And you have like this little creep in it. But it's not a creep, but it's a defined area, a gray area before it breaks. And it, it is a very good crisp break. So that does it for the pistols. And now I'll start with my rifles. Uh, regular old Walmart special. Uh, it's the Winchester 770 270. Um, she's clear. She's clear. Um, it's a deer rifle. That's pretty much all it's, it's meant for. Walmart rifle, Walmart's um, sign on it. Uh, it's maybe $350 altogether. Um, it is what it is. I wouldn't shoot it past 200 rounds. I mean, I wouldn't shoot it past 200 yards. No, I mean, 200 yards, I wouldn't shoot it past that. Uh, this is my baby. It doesn't have any sights on it because I got to get a rail. I got to get the Zahal rail on it. This is a Z, uh, VZ556, VZ58. Um, it is not an AK variant. Now, I repeat, this is not an AK variant. 
It is. Hold on. This. The Narenko SKS. This. Is the brother to it. As you can see. That big beefy open boat area. They are the same. So. They're not an AK variant. These are very rare to get in 5.56. And I've seen classic firearms actually had a couple of these in stock. Um, but they are very reliable. I haven't had any stoppages in that gun. And I've had it for like seven years now. And it just runs and runs and runs. Honest Outlaw actually had that rifle. But I don't think he's done anything with the footage but he did have it on a couple of videos though so if you see one where he's out in the snow that was it uh now my other other baby uh full spikes tactical upper and lower 24 inch bull barrel uh it is heavy and it has a swamp fox one to ten on it um i keep an extra bolt in here and i'm I have a Radiant Raptor charging handle on it. It is a very sweet shooting, sweet, 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 sweet shooting rifle. Um, it is my DMR. That's why I don't have a boat gun because I don't care for a boat gun like that. That semi-auto would do just what I needed to do. Um, next, my little fun rifle. MP1522 with a little cheapy sight mark on it. Does very well for what it is. Um, I rattle canned it. That just is what it is, and it's good to go. Um, oh, the baby fell. So I don't have long, so I'm just trying to get through this. So this is my Bear Creek Arsenal upper, Anderson lower. I put this one together. Um, I wanted like an M16 mock up, and it's very smooth. Uh, the buffer weight and everything works very nice on this. But yeah, um, Regular old mil spec trigger on it. it. Does what it needs to do. And this one has a primary arms SLX 1 to 10 on it. I got this from Focus Trip. Um, you can tell this is the same one he did. And it's still holding up well. Glass is not cracked or anything. Works good. Um, Palmetto Premium. Topped off with a hollow sign. Uh, Oil 3C, auto on and off, long battery life, sight mark, uh, magnifier. It actually combo with the sight mark red uh, holo, holographic sight that I had on my MP. M bus sights and the Radiant Wrap the charging handle. Uh, and a Timney trigger. And it's like a pound and a half trigger. This is one of my better shooting rifles um, just because of the trigger in it alone it makes it a lot more accurate than what it what well, I can actually shoot it. And this is my very first gun. A Mossberg 500. It came just like this. Um, only thing I don't like about it. Somebody cut off the daggone bead on the front of it. But it looked like they had an optics uh, mounted to it. And that's what I'm going to go back to. I'm going to get a nice little red dot. Probably get a Vortex. Uh, um, I think it's a Venom. Whatever it is. Get one of those put on it. But this thing... It has ran and ran and ran and ran. I think I cleaned it two times since I've had it, and I bought it in 2010. I will never, ever get rid of this, this shotgun, ever. Last but not least, my other little baby. I've had this. Got it from the start of the pandemic. I got it when I caught COVID. Um, my wife bought it for me off of Gun Prime. It took a little while to get it. I don't know what they had going on, but it took a while to get it. It took like three weeks for it to come. It kept saying the order was here, then canceled here, canceled here, canceled. And I didn't know where it was at. It was lost. It was completely lost. So I think they took a uh, bite on it and chalked it up to their insurance and got another one. But this one is topped off with a primary arms red dot. And uh, it has been chugging along. You know, it's got the beefier charging handle on it nice little butt stock on it um i got to find something to go in there as far as uh i need to get a sling for it 
regular old AR-15 trigger. I think I'm gonna get a Timney trigger to go in it. I know they say it's not as reliable, but I don't care. Um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, this is my uh, 2023 uh, gun collection video. Um, hit the uh, like button, give it a follow, comment on what you like the best and what you have, and uh, let's get this gun community growing. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.